This video demonstrates how to read a table from a PDF into a Python data frame by using the Python library called Tabula. Starting off with a look at the PDF here, I dug around online and found a good one to demonstrate with. It's from the National Partnership for Quality After School Learning. You can see their URL at the top of the screen. The PDF itself is composed of two pages and includes a total of three tables of information. We'll use Tabula to extract first one of these tables and then all three of them at once. Switching back to my Jupyter Notebook, all that I have to do to start this process is import the Tabula library. This library has a function called readPDF that allows for the ingest of PDFs and collects all of the tables. I access the PDF that I just displayed by passing the URL of the website I just showed you, as it points to the location of the PDF. You can just as easily accomplish this task with a PDF in your directory. All you have to do is substitute the URL for the name of your PDF. I also want to print out the type that is returned with this function and how long the object is. It will become clear why I'm doing this in a moment, but first, let me just execute this cell. First, you will notice a warning. Pages argument isn't specified. Tabula will extract only the first page by default, page one. This is a warning letting you know that it's expecting a parameter called pages, but we just didn't pass it. We only pass the location of the PDF. So its default behavior is to choose to read only the first page of the PDF. We'll touch on how to change that shortly, but moving on, you can see that we are working with a list type item, and the number of items in our list is one, which I am displaying with the printing of the length of the list. Let's now extract the only item from our list into a table variable and print out that table. And here we can see a data frame. Looking back at our PDF, you can see that this is the table contained on the first page. Back in the Jupyter Notebook, let's modify our read PDF function to include another argument, pages, and we'll assign that pages argument to all. You can also pass a number to this argument if you know the exact page number of the PDF the table in the document is contained on. But for now, let's see the length of what we've returned. And we can see that we have three tables returned from this call to read PDF. Printing out our tables variable, you can see a list of data frames, three of them to be precise. Accessing the one you want is simple. You just use the square bracket notation and pass it the index of the table that you want. And that's really all there is to it. You import the tabula library, then read in the PDF with the read PDF function. Be sure to specify either all of the pages if you want everything, just one page if you only want one of them, or omit the argument altogether if you know that the table you want is on the first page of the document. And as always, thank you for stopping by and checking out this video. Please let me know in the comments if it was helpful and what other features of Tabula or Python in general you would enjoy seeing reviewed in future videos. If you found it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up as it helps other people find this content. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can know when the next video drops.